Hi everyone and welcome to Bonnie's Best Creations and it's a cool morning outside today and so I've decided to do some baking. We're going to make some delicious pumpernickel bagels. I know a lot of you have liked my video which I will link below on my pumpernickel bread but today we're doing pumpernickel bagels. So um, let's get started. Come on into the kitchen and uh, see how I put these delicious chewy pumpernickel bagels together. The ingredients or the recipe will be linked below. So, and so you, you'll want to see that so that you can give these a try. So come on in. Okay, so let's get started. Let's start by getting our yeast ready. I have three quarters of a cup of warm water, my yeast, and I have a half a cup of warm water. I'm going to use instant coffee, and I'm just gonna put about a teaspoon or so of coffee. If you have brewed coffee left over, use that. But um, I drink all my coffee in the morning. So I'm gonna add that to my three quarters cup of warm water. And then I have um, molasses. And I'm going to add that to my a trick here if you want to do it if you spray your uh, measuring cup with uh, you know like the spray oil it won't stick but I didn't do that to that I'm going to add yep four teaspoons of yeast. One, two, three, four. So I'm just gonna stir that up and let that sit. Just gonna let that sit. All right, now I'm going to mix together my flours. Now, I'm going to use, I have a big crock down here that I keep my white flour in. So to my bowl, I'm adding, I'm gonna move this over so you can see this. I've got two cups of white flour. All right, next we want a cup and a quarter of rye flour. A cup and if you want to be precise get your quarter but I just level it by shaking it of rye flour. And I'm using one third of a cup of cocoa. To that, I'm going to uh, add about two teaspoons of salt. And to my flour mixture, I'm adding one tablespoon of caraway seeds. And just stir that all together. I 
I'm using my kitchen aid today. You can do this all by hand, but today I chose to do it this way. As you see, here's my yeast and my coffee and my water and molasses. I could have done it all in the KitchenAid bowl, but I decided to do it here so you could see how foamy that uh, yeast gets. So I'm gonna pour that into my bowl. And then I'm going to start adding my flour mixture to that. And my flour and cocoa. So I'm just going to start. I'm going to add about half of that there. Get mixing this on low. All right, I'm going to add the rest of it. It's a sunny day out here today, but it is cool and a perfect day to do all this. All right, now we're going to continue mixing that. Now, like I say, if you do not have one of these, do it by hand. I went many, many years without one of these. I want to mix this so that all the, the dough comes away from the inside of the bowl. If it's not coming away from the side of the bowl, add a little bit of white flour. I want you to see how that's coming away from the side of the bowl. That dough should be sticky. Now that it is sticky and it's come away from the sides of the bowl, I'm going to continue kneading this on number two for, I'm gonna set my timer for five minutes. All right, so it is complete. This is smooth and elastic, and that's exactly the way I want it. So I'm just going to get that dough off the hook and just on a, just a lightly floured counter, not much. Now, if you don't, like I say, if you don't have a food processor, you can do this by hand, but the food processor sure saves a lot of time. All right. I'm just gonna roll that around a bit to get into a nice formed 
ball. Just get my hands into that. As you can see, my hooser here, it's well used. I keep everything in here, my toaster, my coffee grinder, and up here is my plastic easy wrap. This is a functional kitchen. So there, I've got a nice ball there. Mmm, smells so good. Now, in the same bowl, I am going just to add just, I'm not even cleaning the bowl, just a little bit of oil, whatever oil you have. I'm gonna plunk that in there, swirl it around and turn it upside down so all sides are greased. And now with this, plastic wrap or a towel. You want to use a tea towel, use what you have. I'm going to cover that up, baby up, and I'm going to let it rise in a warm, the more warmest spot of my house, which is on top of my stove. And I'm going to leave it for an hour till it's double in size. Okay, while I'm waiting for my uh, pumpernickel dough to rise, I can prepare some things ahead of time. I have a, a cookie tray here and I have put some parchment paper on that and I'm just going to sprinkle liberally with cornmeal. That gives that a bagel a nice crunch on the bottom. So I've um, done two cookie trays like that and set that aside. So now what I'm going to do on this plate, I'm going to mix uh, the topping I want to go on top of my bagel. So I'm going to have that all prepared. You can put whatever topping you want. If you just want one, uh, like poppy seeds and caraway seeds, you do what you want. I'm going to do a combination of a few things. So on the plate, I'm going to show you. I'm, I've got two tablespoons of sesame seeds. I've got one, I'm going to use one and a half and a half of caraway seeds. All right. And then I want a tablespoon, one and a half tablespoons of uh, minced onion. I have one tablespoon of uh, minced garlic. Um, let me see. And I don't know. I guess you could add, maybe I'll add just a little bit of uh, poppy seeds. But like I say, you mix whatever you want. And last but not least, I'm using um, a tablespoon of coarse salt. All right. So what I will do is just mix all that together. That's all ready. And like I say, it's whatever combo you like of spices. In a bowl here, 
I have one egg and a tablespoon of water. And I'm just mixing that up. So when my bagels are done and ready to be baked, uh, I will brush the top of the bagel with this egg mixture and then sprinkle my toppings and that allows it to stick, to stay on there. Next, I have, I'm getting this ready, I have um, 12 cups of water and I'm going to add to that a quarter cup of honey. I have to melt this honey a bit in the microwave. Thank goodness for microwaves. So there we are. So about a quarter of a cup. Not a lot. Just sweeten that. water up. That will come to a boil when I'm ready to boil my bagels. All right, there's my dough. It is doubled in size and I am going to turn it out onto my clean surface. I'm just going to um, just pat this down and just turn it up, turn it into a little bit of a log. Now this uh, recipe will make six large bagels, whatever size you want. I'm making these small. Um, small because then I don't need as much and it goes a little bit further but if you want for a special occasion a special breakfast to make six big ones and go ahead so i'm just making that log just as best i can so i'm going to try and make 10 so as and i love this you can use a knife or this pastry cutter, cut it in half, set it aside, and then we're going to try and do five, one, two, three, four, ooh, I guess I'm going to get six out of that, one, two, three, four, yep, six, I'm going to do twelve. So what I'm going to do is cut off each of those and set it aside. The aroma of this dough with the coffee and molasses. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make do it like this. I'm going to do 10. Okay. So you know what? You can change your mind like I do. One, two, three, four, five. All right. All right. And we're going to just roll them in a ball. One, two, and just do that with the rest don't get fancy all right so once you have that done now we need some people roll these on a log and twist them what i do is i just put my finger 
in there and stretch. And there it becomes your bagel. And I'm putting it on my parchment paper. So roll it. Put your finger in the middle. And stretch it like a donut. But it is a bagel. So I'm going to continue doing this. And then show you the next step. All right, I have my pot of boiling water with uh, a quarter cup of honey. I don't really want this to boil. I want to simmer it, so I'm just going to turn it down a bit. I have my bagels that I made with the hole, and I'm going to drop two or three of these in the pot of water. Two, three. And I'm going to uh, let them simmer there one minute on one side, and then I will flip it over. I have a skewer, I have a slotted spoon. You could use uh, maybe a fork, but you just want that simmering nice. And then I will put the, it back on my paper. Maybe what I will do so I got another another I'll show you there. Let's see how this goes. Alright, so that's in about a minute and then I'm going just to gently flip them over have you made donuts my mom loved when I made homemade donuts so instead of the, uh, the water, I used, uh, of course, oil, but still hot, so you gotta be careful. And if you notice, they are puffing up a little bit, so. Uh, I'm going to get the camera so you can see them. Can you see that boiling there? Just simmering away. For about a minute. have a convection oven and you can hear the hum of that. Uh, I love my convection oven. Uh, it, it seems to cook things a little bit um, evenly and quicker. I use it lots. All right, so I think that's good. I'm gonna bring these out with a slotted spoon and just put them there okay let's drop one two three there they go I'm going to continue doing this with the rest of my bagels and then the next step. All right, so here are my bagels that I've boiled and put them on 
a tray. Um, I've let them cool slightly. And remember we beat an egg with a tablespoon of water and our toppings. And then we have our parchment paper with cornmeal for the bottom of the... So gently, I'm gonna lift that cool bagel. I'm going to dip it in the glaze of the egg mixture and then here we go another one I have my oven preheated to 350 bit more time consuming I guess but don't you love the fact that you can make something so delicious from scratch and I'm going to keep doing that for the rest of the ones. So there you have, they're all ready. They're gonna go in the 350 oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. If you decided to do larger ones, it may take 20 to 25 minutes. So there are my bagels. They smell delicious with the onion and the garlic and um, I like the crunch of that uh, coarse salt. Um, here's the bagel, your cornmeal on the bottom. I'm gonna bring it up real close so you can see it and break into this. I'm telling you, with just a, a bit of butter, um, a, a, a slice of cheese. Mm. I'm telling you, this is one delicious bagel. You have to try it. Like I said, whatever topping you want on top. If you just want the poppy seeds sesame seed or just a bit of caraway just do the math in or just sprinkle poppy seeds on top after you do the the egg wash but I think you will not be disappointed delicious so I hope you enjoyed this don't forget to subscribe you see that I do a multitude of things um, I make the most of my day in doing the things that um, not only bring me pleasure, but to my family and uh, you. So you're important. So God bless till we see each other again. Bye for now.